Hi, I'm going to show you how to colour over embossing powder with chameleon pens. Colouring over embossing powder will smudge the image and clog the nib of your alcohol pen. I'll show you how to avoid this problem. You can clean off your nib on a scrap of paper. Take your stamp positioner and line up your card and stamp in the positioner. I'm using Penny Black's Elegance in Motion stamp. Then ink up your design with Memento ink. I'm using New Sprout and stamp onto the card. Take the sand alcohol pen and touch with the crimson red colour top and colour the petals individually. Repeat this process until all the petals are coloured. Then take the green apple pen and place the mixing chamber on the bullet nib for five seconds and colour the individual leaves. Repeat this process again until all the leaves are coloured. Touch the crimson red colour top to the sand pen to colour in the bow using the bullet nib end. Once you have finished colouring over your whole design, you can then use an anti-static bag to rub over the whole area. This will stop any embossing powder sticking to areas other than the design. Place your design back in the stamp positioner and ink up your stamp with Versamark ink and stamp again. Then sprinkle the image with black embossing powder, tap off any excess and then heat set. I'm going to then add a gold foil sentiment. I'm going to place the foil facing upwards on my card, add my foiling stamp by Ultimate Crafts and hold in place with some washi tape. I'm then going to place a piece of paper over the design to stop the embossing powder melting onto the plate. I'm going to leave this there for a minute. Run the part where the foil stamp is in the Go Cut and Emboss machine and then remove. Peel off the design to reveal your image and your foiled area. You can then place this onto your card base and matte and layer. Thanks for watching.